Hi, I'm Jeff Betts, and I'm here to show you what happens when we run a competitive aftermarket remanufactured engine through the same dyno durability tests as the Mopar remanufactured engine. The Mopar engine successfully passed 625 hours of modified general durability, where the engine is cycled between peak horse and peak torque. The aftermarket remand engine had a catastrophic failure at only 15 hours. So what happened? Why did the aftermarket remand engine fail? We're about to find out from one of the experts. Welcome, Scott. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? Good. So, 15 hours. What happened to our aftermarket engine here? And show me some of the differences between that and the Mopar reman. Well, upon teardown, we discovered a failed connecting rod to which we did a deeper dive with one of our labs and learned that it actually failed because of a broken connecting rod bolt. Really? Yep. Connecting rod bolts on a Mopar engine, as you can see our bolt here, they're 100% mandatory replacement parts because in production they're torqued to yield, and if you reuse them, they could break. And that's exactly what happened on this engine. In addition to that, they never replaced the bushing in the idler gear. It appears to be the same one off of a salvage engine. On the Mopar engine? A brand new mandatory replacement part in every Mopar engine we use. Another issue we found with this engine was it had a front cover gasket that should not be on this period of engine. This gasket is used for an early model, 4.7, pre-2004. Whereas the engine we were testing, both of them, should have been 2010 to 14. Now that we reviewed some of the internal components that were wrong, let's take a look at some of the uh, structural components. Uh, we found during teardown that the ceiling surfaces had been painted over with spray paint when they painted the heads to make them look better. Really? On the combustion face front, the intake manifold front, and on the valve cover rail. Well, that can't be too good for sealing. No, that would create a direct leak path for sure. So Scott, what's this autopsy show us about the Mopar Reman engine? The Mopar Reman engine is about process, precision, and proprietary OEM specifications. What's the autopsy show us on the aftermarket Reman? Well, the evidence doesn't lie. Put to the same test, the Mopar remanufactured engine never had a problem. The lesson? Only the Mopar remanufactured engine follows the proprietary FCA US specs and the Mopar remanufacturing process as designed by us. You're playing with fire if you're not using OEM parts in mandatory replacement part locations. So don't gamble with unreliable aftermarket reman parts and engines. Buy the only certified reman engine available from the factory. Use only genuine Mopar remanufactured parts and engines.